Okay, guys. Okay, I want to uh, I want to address blower speed. So, this unit is having problems with the blower speed not being enough. So, first of all, tension's good. Now, measuring tension with three pounds, three pounds of force, you're supposed to push it down three quarters of an inch. So maybe it's a little bit too tight, but good enough for imprecise work. Good enough. Okay. So I don't know if you saw that. Um, taking it off. Also, this is not the correct way you're supposed to loosen the bolts. Move the motor up, take it off, put the new belt on, move the motor down. So, just grab it, twist it, right, and then just spin it. Just like that. Okay, so we want to make it spin, we want to make it spin faster. So, you find so first of all, let's look at this. You see the gap? Okay. So spinning faster. Loosen this set screw. Okay, so now you need to loosen just a little bit more. And it spins pretty freely, right? So you'll see a flat spot right here and a flat spot right here. So it's got basically half revolutions. So spin it one half. Another half, so that's one revolution. Let's go two revolutions, that's a fair amount. Look inside here, we can go a little bit more because they are having issues. Let's go that, two and a half revolutions. Okay, tighten this down. Always, always get that tight. Nice, nice and tight. Notice that my Allen wrench is twisted because I've tightened it too much. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to align it. So there's several ways to align it. You can put a straight edge on it and a straight edge on the back side. Um, what I do is I eyeball it. So I'll get uh, I'll get this this one right here flat between between this side and this side, I'll get it flat with my eyeball, and then I'll line it up over down here. Then I'll get it flat on this side and on this side, and line it up on this. And it should be the same same distance, you know, like if there's a bit of a gap and a bit of a gap, then it should be the same. Now because I tightened it, if it was perfectly aligned, now this, this is gonna be too far in that way, Right, so there will be uh, it'll be light, nice and lined up maybe here, and it'll be out out here or something like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check by sticking my head in there, and then um, and then I'll show you how I fix it. Okay, so it turns out that it was almost perfectly aligned, which means that ahead of time it wasn't. Okay, so how you fix it? So let's look at this. We got the flat spot that I mentioned, and then we have a pin, which means that on the back side of the pin, right here, I even put my Allen wrench in there, right there is an, another, another set screw, like this, right? And it's supposed to set down right on the pin. So if you need to adjust it, what you do is you loosen that, and then you pull it in or out wherever you need to go, and then you, you adjust that back down on it. Get it pretty tight again, you know, pretty tight because otherwise it can unspin itself. Then, when you're done, now, this belt is gonna be way tighter than it was, right? So I can't even get it on. So that means that I have to go ahead and, and, and. All right, I pushed a button. And lost, I lost you guys. So, when I loosened these, the motor dropped. You can actually see the tension on the wires right there. So that was fun. Um, but the the motor is all loose. And I gotta slide it up.
Okay. If I slid it up just by grabbing back there and just lifting the whole thing, kind of shaking. Okay. Tension. Look at that. The tension is almost just, almost just perfect. If I needed it tighter, you have these little slots right here, right? So you stick your screwdriver in there and then wedge it that direction. And then there's another, another slot here that I don't really have access to, kind of do. Anyway, I don't need to adjust it because, because look at that. So now you can use a wrench, crescent wrench, whatever, crescent wrench, time consuming. I ended up liking this better. You always want to be careful to not over tighten it. You probably didn't even see that. Bad cameraman skills. Okay, then there's another one in the back that I need to use feel, which means both hands. Um, so that's, that's it, man. Good luck.